Well, here for a deeper dive into the issues is senior editor at CNET, Lisa Edichico. And we're going to talk to her because this is obviously a really big deal. Lisa, welcome. Let's first go over some of the reaction to this controversial bill, really understanding that TikTok is becoming kind of the epicenter when it comes to social media. Could there be a path forward for the app? Yeah, I think it really depends on what ByteDance does. Um, in the past, the company has made it clear that it doesn't want to sell TikTok, of course. But if it doesn't, it risks missing out on one of the largest markets in the world for both smartphone usage and internet usage. So that that is a big deal. But it's hard to say how things will pan out for TikTok. Bloomberg has previously reported that selling the app would be a last resort, and it plans to exhaust its legal options before that happens. But it's hard to say who would even buy TikTok at this point. Um, previously, there, there was a deal between Oracle and Walmart that fell apart and didn't end up happening. Uh, but even TikTok's biggest competitors like Alphabet and Meta, it would be hard to push a deal like that through, even if they were interested because of all the antitrust scrutiny that has come up with uh, big tech companies in the U.S. over the past few years. So it's hard to say um, if ByteDance doesn't sell TikTok in the next few months, it might just have to kind of reorient its strategy around being maybe less focused on the U.S. market. And that's a big financial picture as far as the business size. But what about, you know, TikTok's future when it comes to affecting the smaller business, you know, those creators and people on TikTok moving forward? Yeah, a lot of creators, entertainers, influencers, and businesses have built a really big following on TikTok. It's become their source of livelihood. So they would likely have to grapple with shifting their audiences to different platforms, maybe YouTube, Instagram. Those are some of TikTok's biggest competitors here. And uh, the same goes for businesses as well. A lot of businesses have adopted a strategy around TikTok because there has been data that shows that consumers do are starting to use TikTok as a search engine. They're using it for shopping, especially the younger demographics. So it, it would definitely uh, create uh, some changes in strategy for sure for businesses and influencers. Yeah, lots to think about. And now we go on to the next step on if it goes through the Senate. We appreciate your insight, Lisa. Thank you so much for that.